Invading the internet covering web 2.0 coast to coast, worldwide, and everywhere in between. This is where you put the social in social media. We are Social Blade. And hello, everyone, and welcome to episode number 29 of the Social Blade Show. I am Jason Ergo. And I'm Patrick Burris. I'm Aaron Ryan. And I'm Victor Barrera. And as you might notice, we are one <laughs> co-host short this week. Uh, JD, you know, for the second week in a row, just couldn't make it for some reason. Um, we're, we're guessing that it might be a similar incident that uh, Aaron had uh, last week with um, the broken foot. Uh, you can see a picture of her foot. She didn't want to show it on camera, but we got a picture, and it's in the bottom right corner of the screen right now for you. I did want to say, though, I do not have a broken foot, but I did want to say that the more I look at this picture on Facebook and even now, it's starting to feel like it is my foot. I'm starting to feel an attachment to it, even though it's not mine. It's interesting. Yeah, but you're getting Thanks, all this share of sympathy, and everyone's showing all this love and support, <laughs> and you want to douse that, and you want to just wish that all away. Never. Well, so you don't have a broken nub. <laughs> no. no. I do not have a broken foot. I I appreciate though all the the comments. And that wonderful thread you created, Pat. Yeah, Aaron, we can arrange <laughs> to have your funny. foot broken if you want. <laughs> well, that's what uh, I was thinking. If you'll was notice, looking, nowhere is it written Tommy's... where I, nowhere is it written did I say that you had a broken foot. Uh, if you watch really? episode twenty-eight of Social Blade, uh, you'll hear it live. Uh, oh, on the recording, I guess it's not live, but it was live last week. <laughs> but that's. Anyway, hear, not yeah, yeah, you, you, we could get the captions. If you want me to put captions on it, um, then it'll be written. <laughs> yeah, get to work on that. Let's start the show. <laughs> Let's start the show. We got, a, we got a lot to cover this week, actually. Uh, the very first thing we want to talk about is actually uh, some news. Uh, YouTube just had their, uh, their fifth um, birthday here. Uh, YouTube basically was founded back uh, in 2005 on February 14th uh, by former PayPal employees Chad Hurley, Steve Chen, and Jawed Kareem. Uh, if you look on the, si uh, on the screen here, you'll notice it looks very different than it does now. This is a screenshot from April 28th, 2005, where it looks like their first um, go at it w was making it into sort of like a dating site. Uh, very different than what it is uh, today. Uh, the original reason, or at least that is popularized these days on why they created it is uh, Chad Hurley and Steve Chen were at a dinner party. They got some video taken, and uh, they basically were having problems trying to find where to upload it. So they ended up creating their own site. The very first video that was actually uploaded to YouTube back on April 23rd, 2003, uh, was by... Oh, oh, oh. Video, video stole uh, the radio star. Killed the radio star, right? No, no. Actually, it was... No, it's the zoo video. Yeah. It was I one of the... Jawad, uh, basically at the San, uh, San, San Diego? San Diego Zoo. Uh, and, yeah, that was the very first video. It's now gotten 1.7 million views. But no. Wait, Ergo, you, do you know the story about that guy though? He was like the silent third partner that got got, got pushed out. Yeah, that that's he. Th there's a lot of conspiracy theories going around that uh, that yeah, you are right on that. Um, but uh, I, you know, but he has some videos about it. But um, th it's really not. You know, no one really knows for sure. It, it is true that he definitely was one uh, one of the people. You know, they all came from PayPal together. But beyond that. In beyond being the first one uploading a video, I, I know the yeah. real truth. What, what is the real truth? Shortly after, shortly after this video was recorded, he was eaten by the elephants behind. He him. was eaten by. Oh, that's no. an elephant. I thought that was a Norse. <laughs> no, that's not. <laughs> Do they Norse show videos of Norses? That. Oh, that's the Norses bigger than are that. bigger. The horses are way bigger. Than <laughs> we eat Speaking elephants. Speaking of Norse. Jason, and introduce this this foreign voice we're hearing on Social Blade. Yeah, uh, th this foreign voice is uh, the mighty Thor, uh, who is one of one of the very guests, very first people that I, I met when I got on YouTube here. Uh, oh, you he wants to have my babies. Thank you. <laughs> 
are, yeah. <laughs> Throw them right I out. <laughs> I, I'm sorry I didn't send you the Valentine's Day card quickly enough, but I saved it for you for a special event when we're together next time. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, he's not looking into the right camera for that. <laughs> so we're okay. <laughs> Well, uh, a little more, though, about YouTube here. Uh, they actually launched their very first beta uh, of the site back in May of 2005, uh, and they went through uh, a whole bunch of different um, revisions uh, before they finally launched the public site uh, in November of 2005, which, uh, let's see, this is the, uh, the site as of November 5th, 2005, what it looked like when it went live for the very first time. Uh, they kept on uh, changing things little by little, and by July 2006, they were getting uh, more than 65,000 views a day. Uh, and Sorry, more than uh, 100 million uh, video views a day, and more than 65,000 videos were uploaded every day. By October 9th, 2009, uh, Google bought YouTube for $1.65 billion dollars. And uh, as of October 9th, 2009, um, YouTube uh, is supposedly getting over 1 billion views every single day. Nice. Wait, wait, can you go back on that date again? Ergo, I don't mean to correct you, sure. but wasn't, weren't they bought in 2007, 2008? Oh, I had the wrong years then. I apologize. Yeah, uh, October 9th, 2006 is when they were bought, if uh, right, I okay. didn't say that. I remember that. Yeah, so were you uh, were you actually on YouTube at that time? Did you have? Yes, a... I was. I'm one of the earliest people. I didn't do nothing for about six, seven months. I didn't really think twice about it, but uh, I really didn't start posting until late November of uh, 2006. Now, what made you start uh, posting videos on there? Uh, in in I guess it was uh, April of 2006. My nieces wanted to make videos on this cool site they heard of <laughs> called YouTube. So we made a Bloody Barbie video because they like that uh, Barbie Girl song, so they, they, but they wanted to call it Bloody <laughs> Barbie. So we, we dressed them up and made all fake uh, blood for them with corn syrup, and we filmed them, and that was the first video I ever uploaded on my channel so they could see it and show their friends of their little play they did. Nice. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> You didn't have any influence on that that idea at all. <laughs> I had no I no act I had none I, I didn't even know what the heck they wanted to do. Oh hey that's my channel. Yeah. Um I didn't know what they wanted to do and they they just said this is what we want to do because we really hate this song and that's what uh, I said okay you know it's harmless enough sure. Little did I know they were gonna smear blood everywhere and kill people with not fake knives that they had. Like, well, they okay. like they so that the interview too. <laughs> yeah, they do. Are they there? No. Um, no, 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 they're old yeah. now. Oh, they're old now. Old. Yeah, they're like 18 now, I think. Let me think how old. That's, that's, yeah, oh. they're, they're about, oh. uh, I guess they're going to be 18 this year. I have to think about it. I don't even know how old I am. <laughs> <laughs> so, so after you posted that video, is that what made you, like, addicted no, no. Soon, then, then we watched the video a couple times, and every now and then I'd see a related video pop up. And there's uh, two or three reasons why I really got into it. One was another song by the same group who did uh, Barbie Girl. Um, they did Happy People. I, I can't. I think it was Aqua. Aqua was Aqua. the name of the band? Aqua, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so I, I saw that video, and it was a, a, a couple that were on camera just singing it, and it was so funny the way they, they lip synced to the song. I thought, wow, that was pretty funny. And related to it was a Brookers and a Caitlin Hill video. Hmm. And so I checked them out. And I said, well, you know, if these people are doing this, why aren't I doing this? Like, I, I've got nothing else to do with my free time. I'm out. And that's what started. I started actually responding to Caitlin Hill videos and Brookers videos. Hmm. So in, in, as a result of that, uh, I know we've actually met in person a couple of times here at uh, different YouTube gatherings. Is that why you started? Stalker. These, yeah. <laughs> Is that why you started uh, <laughs> going to these uh, gatherings? <laughs> no, no. The YouTube gatherings really was curiosity. It's like you sit and you watch videos in your house and you go and you make your, you're doing this all by yourself all the time and you're watching these other people do it. And it was more like, wow, do those people really exist or, or is this just some put on? So I'm, I'm, I hate to, you know, scream conspiracy theory, but I wanted to go meet these people in real life, 
not because I was a fan, not be, just because we shared the common interest of taking the time to put video on the web, just just for the hell of it. And uh, how, how many of these different gatherings have you been to now? You know, uh, I someone someone actually counted for me because I really never really paid attention. All I was doing was going to have fun. I know I could get you know hang out with some cool people and get drunk with them. So um, I went to anywhere between. 14 and 17, as I remember it. Wow. What's the and that includes all, going all the way over to Australia. Australia. Okay. Wow. Wow. So, so I, I guess uh, YouTube in general now that you've been on for so many years uh, and they've been around for five years, what do, you, what do you think of it in general here now? Do you think it's going to continue to uh, last, at least community-wise? Or is it just – what are your thoughts? Um, I don't – Boy, that's a tough question. What are my thoughts? Um, <laughs> well, because I don't take it as seriously as, as anyone else does. I'm not here to be a star or to be famous or anything. I do this because this is my habit. You know, this is my hobby. This is what I want to do for fun instead of, you know, going to drink in a bar and having strippers dance all over me, which gets expensive. <laughs> uh, but the, the, the idea of doing this is just fun to me. So I just keep on learning more and more and more and putting more up as much as possible, as much as I can. What's going to happen to YouTube? I don't know. I've seen it change tremendously in the, in the four years, four or five years I've been on. I guess going to my fifth year. So, um, and, and a lot that I have seen change. Uh, I, I like the earlier years better than I like what's going on now. Hey, look at me. I look like a star on TV, don't I? Yeah. You are a star. What? Okay, so what would you like to see change? I'd like them to stop going to the common, lowest common denominator and actually treat some of the more talented people out there that are filmmakers with a little bit more respect. I think that I think we've progressed past that, you know, oh, look, I turned my webcam on. Look at me be silly to, hey, you know, there's some really good people on YouTube and, and you know, they should be being spotlighted for the stuff that they're making. I think one of YouTube's biggest mistakes that they ever made was they did not harvest the talent that was on YouTube and make special days for it. You know, a, a Wednesday band night, a Friday comedy night, a Saturday movie night. I think that that's one like of the, that would be a good idea. Well, you know, it's it's short sighted thinking, I think, on their part, because all they thought was, wait, you know, we're bleeding money here. We've got to figure out some way to make money. And I think that's why they are in the direction that they're in now, because, you know, traditionally, and this will probably be the first year YouTube actually makes any kind of money. They have never made money before. All right. Well, uh, thank you uh, very much, Thor, uh, for your insight there. And um, if people want to uh, check out your channel, uh, where can they go to see it? Uh, the Mighty Thor 1212. Uh, YouTube.com slash. I'll, I'll put the link on. Yeah, Mighty Thor 1212. Yeah, we'll include it in the uh, show notes. We'll here post also. it in our, uh, in our thing for you, too. A blog. Hey, yeah, that's what we call it. <laughs> yeah, Some word here. Just make sure you right? put down that I'm better than Nolts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll do what we we'll, can. We'll definitely do that. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, though. All right, so I can yes. go now. I'm done. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, listen. Thank you for having me. I really and Ergo, you're a very nice man for for saying all those nice things about me, even though they're not true, and you just want in my pants. Um, I I really appreciate <laughs> writing me, and and I appreciate all you nice people up there for listening to my my tales of woe. <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> And thanks for teaching me about the Norses and stuff. It's very important to know this stuff. You never know when you're going to find yourself out in the middle of Norwegian land and have to talk to a Viking and you don't know Norse. Yeah, that's true. Seriously, I got to go. I, I have rockets to launch tomorrow, so we'll see you guys later. Huh? All right. All right you have, a good, have a good one. Thanks for uh, joining. Uh, Victor. Uh, do you want to tell us about uh, someone that's no longer our friend? Uh, I think you're on mute, Victor. <laughs> Turn his mute button. Victor, you're on mute. He's talking away. He's on mute. Apparently we are, he too. Has no idea. Hey, guys. Sorry there about we that. Go. There he is. <laughs> but yeah, next item of business. <laughs> um, you know, I don't know how many of you guys still use MySpace, but uh, if you're still using it, turns out there's somebody who's no longer your friend, and that na that guy's name is Tom. A lot <gasps> of you remember Tom uh, for you know having when you joined MySpace. He's kind of your first default friend, 
And uh, as it turns out, you know, he was he's kind of being phased out continually over the past few months um, since kind of MySpace was taken over and there's been kind of a, a new uh, changing of the guard in terms of management and uh, CEO. And, uh, you know, basically up until now, Tom was just kind of part of it, kind of, you know, not really directly responsible for anything you see on MySpace, but he still had kind of a, a friendly presence there. Uh, but it's official. Apparently, Tom will no longer be your first friend if you were to start up a MySpace account. So I think this is significant um, for a few reasons. One, uh, Tom was originally kept on staff, not in a, not given any position of power at MySpace because um, they basically, you know, went ahead and fired the rest of the founders, um, you know, that found MySpace along with Tom. Um, but basically, he was kept around to kind of facilitate the transition between the MySpace of old and the and the new MySpace, which is kind of you know making small changes and kind of progressing uh, their platform to to you know be a little more like Facebook, to be a little more uh, intuitive in the sharing sense, in the social sense, and uh, in ultimately ultimately presenting a viable social network that you know still has some pull and regard here. In the uh, in, in this day and age of the web, as we know it now, so so yeah, um, you know, I'm 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 not sure what to think. I, I didn't really care for Tom, to be honest. I, I'm not sure many cared, um, but something of note is uh, the internal traffic that Tom's profile uh, was able to dictate within the MySpace community is was pretty significant. Um, I, I couldn't tell you specific numbers, um, but every time Tom wrote a blog post, I mean, there was. Pretty, there's uh, you know tens upon thousands of folks who engaged with that profile that you know made comments and uh, the visibility that the profile had within the MySpace com community was rivaling um, you know that of many celebrities and uh, you know big name musicians. So you know, what do you guys think? Per well, not not that I use MySpace at the moment, and not that I really used it much in the past either. But uh, when I did create my account, um, Tom was my first friend. Quite a uh, hey guys, like everyone else. But uh, I actually removed him right away. <laughs> uh, do, oh, nice, do you guys nice. keep him as a friend on your MySpace accounts, or do you not even have one? Yeah, you're supposed to keep him as your friend because not because he's like a voodoo doll that wards <laughs> off evil spirits, but his account actually uh, monitors if you're being um, um, invaded by spam or uh, if... It helped prevent from you being um, taken over. Wait, really? Yes. I'm not. I'm not sure on those details. Well, why? I don't know why they couldn't just. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm, and, well, I'm, I'm just. I don't know that for a fact. I'm this just, is what he I'm told not, himself before he went to bed. <laughs> no, no, I tell myself a lot of stuff before I go to sleep, but I, Tom and MySpace isn't one of them. But uh, <laughs> but um, <laughs> excuse me. Um, I need to get some Berkeley. I know. Uh, no, I, I've heard this from several sources, as a matter of fact. Hmm. I don't know about that. I, I, I'd like to see a, a uh, okay, because, story about because it. Because you don't have it or use it doesn't know. mean no, no, I'm not. it's in the computer world that it doesn't exist. <laughs> I'm not saying it doesn't. I, I just would like to see a source on that. I, I'm not sure. Hey, the douche is in my top eight all the time, and I didn't have a problem. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's just kind of funny because, I mean... I did. I was a pretty heavy MySpace user initially, like in the first few years, um, kind of before the advent of Facebook dominance. And Tom was kind of an essential part of it. You know, he's the one who updated you on, you know, MySpace changes and new features. Like he was kind of the face of of MySpace, of that social space. And uh, you know, I, I think that as they forge into the future, um, kind of getting themselves distancing themselves from the previous kind of culture and feel of MySpace, which included Tom, you know, as being kind of an integral part of that. Um, I think it's a good thing in terms of what MySpace is trying to accomplish and uh, what they're continuing to do in terms of, you know, making small changes and, and continually uh, progressing their platform and uh, advancing MySpace as a, a social networking um, realm, you know, on the web. So uh, I think no Tom is a very good idea. <laughs> Well, you know, with with all that being said, um, and, and Facebook is better than MySpace. And what we found out a few weeks ago is Twitter is considered by at least Ergo, Victor, and JD is uh, more important than <laughs> Facebook. Um, 
Isn't there something that we should be talking about there, Jay, uh, Ergo? Yeah, well, <laughs> Facebook, Briefly. Yeah, Facebook specifically. Um, <laughs> this is actually uh, really funny. I, I heard this um, <laughs> a couple of days ago. Uh, basically, the uh, the website Read Write Web uh, did a story on uh, Facebook wants to be your one true login. Uh, however, their SEO, um, you know, search engine optimization was just so good that when you typed in Google the word Facebook and the word login, this page was the first page that came up. So uh, apparently, uh, people don't go to Facebook.com to log in. They actually go to Google and type Facebook login. And <laughs> Read Write Web basically had to put a, a little disclaimer on here. Dear visitors from Google, this site is not Facebook. This is a website called Read White Web that operates, or sorry, that reports uh, on news about Facebook and other internet services. You can, however, become a fan, blah, blah, blah. Uh, because basically, they had to add this uh, big disclaimer here because they were getting hundreds and hundreds of comments of people complaining that uh, <laughs> they couldn't, they, they basically, they hated the new redesign of my uh, Facebook and they couldn't find the login for it. They thought basically this page was. <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> Which is crazy. I mean, if they watch TV or utilize anything else on the internet, wouldn't they see the well, homepage look differently than Rewrite Web does? Well, but but that's the whole thing. Facebook redesigns their page so often that, uh, you know, maybe that is what they made it look like, and then they just couldn't figure it out. But I, what, what just surprises story, me, Jason. What, what just surprises me is people just Google for that facebook login they don't just go to it yeah good stuff um what about um the facebook train aaron what's going on with that well it's not a good story because the thing why is are that, we doing it <laughs> well the story is good but oh, what's okay. not good about it is that 50 percent of retailers are not using facebook they have not jumped aboard the train now, the day before its sixth birthday, Facebook announced that they had reached 400 million active users. Damn. Out of those users, more than half who purchase online items are indeed on Facebook. 81% who shop <coughs> online and buy social media have also jumped on the Facebook train. So let's all say together, why aren't retailers? A recent study was conducted by Facebook Forsey, a company that specializes in customer satisfaction research. They found it that 50% of online retailers are not using Facebook. This is bad news for them. Since according to uh, findings last year made by Razorfish, a company that examines consumers' digital habits and attitudes, they found that many people will use social networks to view special offers and promotions information more so than for customer support. In amongst those that have a fan page, some have unfortunately just let them sit. This is a huge mistake. Setting and forgetting your Facebook page is only implying to your potential customer that you don't care, so why should they? If you are an online business or a business at all, it is a must to be in amongst social media users since people want to get to know people and not businesses. Facebook is the ample way of interacting with potential customers or for tearing down the wall that has separated the engagement between the two and still getting your name branded. It is very important to not only have a page but to maintain it as well. How do you do that? Create a dialogue between you and those that have fanned your page. Give special uh, offers to your most loyal fans and promote your page using other social networks. Word of mouth is powerful and even more so when you have 400 million active mouths to feed it. Facebook is just one of the many social networking sites that your business should take part in. Once people see that you are utilizing social media, they will look for you and they will fan, friend, and follow you elsewhere. According to 4C, if you need help in marketing your business online, just ask your customers. Ask them what they want or expect from you and then provide it. Creating relationships with others by being social on any social media site is of the utmost importance. It is as simple as asking and answering questions, sharing informative links that are relevant to your business, 
uh, that you are in, and by allocating a personable side will, in fact, create leads and will entice your customers to share your business with their fans, friends, and followers. If you're not on Facebook, you should be. Are we shocked that now, like in 2010, 50% of online retailers are not utilizing Facebook for their businesses? Yeah, no, I'm not. No? You're not? I'm not a bit surprised. I, no, I mean, because not everybody in, in, um, realizes how much of arm that uh, social media has. I absolutely think that, you know, sites that um, are promoted are with uh, Facebook, they actually do better because they are on Facebook and have Twitter accounts and they have social media uh, marketers working with them. And I think it helps their business immensely. It gets more recognizable. Um, Domino's ha uh, got a lot of publicity for how bad their pizza sucked. And they did that through social media. Um, yeah, but the thing is, is that even though it's bad publicity, doesn't mean that it has to be a bad outcome. I mean, if you decide no, to come back... No, 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 no. I didn't say it was bad publicity. It was exactly what they wanted and what they needed. I think it was okay. a smart move on their part. I No, I, no I'm sorry. I, I, I must not have made that clear, but no, I think that's the way it goes. Um, yeah, I think... I, 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 you know what, I, I said that I, I am shocked, but you're, you're kind of right. I mean, people don't really understand that, you know, Facebook and Twitter is not just for fun and games and Farmville and, and TwitPix. It's, it's, it can be utilized in a way that could promote your business, unlike any other type of advertising, any other type of marketing. So um, you're right. It's, it's very interesting that people aren't realizing this, but they should try to catch on because, I mean, everybody's using Twitter or Facebook or some type of social networking. So I think that they need to get on board. Cool. Absolutely. Cool. Now, Pat, I, I, I have a random question for you here. If you were looking, right. if you were looking uh, to get a new computer and you wanted to see the latest reviews on the latest hardware, where would you go? No, actually, honestly, a site that I always go to, hothardware.com. Yes, hothardware.com, <laughs> the, the best place to go to get the latest reviews and technology, the hottest tech tested and burned in, hothardware.com. Dave and Mark, good job, buddy. All right, now, um, next thing I wanted to talk about is the fact that 72% of 28 to 40 year old people use social media. That means that about 28% of 28 to 40 year old don't use social media. All right, that being said, let's roll into the next story. I don't want to talk about that, that's stupid. We want to talk to our guests and we, want to, we had a great guest on YouTube and we got a, another great guest in social media. Time to roll into the next story. The new Facebook oh. home guide that must <laughs> be red oh wait a minute wait hold on one second nobody said bananas was that a bananas moment yeah go ahead yeah i segued away we're right in there yeah. hurry well, we up get that story in <laughs> other words Pat saying thing. just use use social media period that's no, that's it no I, i'm saying 28 percent of people my age to your age don't use it 72 percent do who cares let's go next the new facebook homepage. <laughs> guide that you must read. Okay. All right. Well, again, Facebook has gotten a facelift. Are you confused? Facebook has done it again. They have changed its homepage uh, look, and to be expected, people are not happy about it. Not only because many people don't like change and because Facebook does it so often, but more due to the fact that it can be confusing. So here's a little bit of a breakdown of the new changes. Much of Facebook's layout has just been re uh, relocated elsewhere, and after a few hours or days, we can pretty much get the hang of it. The six key components of the new layout are requests and notifications, news feeds, bookmarked applications, online friends, account privacy and settings, birthday and event reminders, and Facebook chat. You may be asking why Facebook changed the way you are accustomed to navigating, or in other words, just moving one feature to another spot. Well, it's not in vain. 
Facebook has made these changes to make it easier for you, the user. They relocated the search box, for example, for it to be centralized so you can use it more to search your friends or pages, since they will be making upgrades to the search itself in the near, fu in the near future. Are you asking where the logout button has gone? If you can't seem to find it, all you have to do is click the account and hit logout. Although Facebook has changed where your notifications are, do not get comfy with it, since in the next two weeks, you will be saying goodbye to them. Now on to the more in-depth changes. If you're curious to why you have not seen more than 250 of your friends, that's because you haven't changed the settings. Just simply click on Most Recent in your news feed and scroll down to the bottom and click Edit Options. <coughs> From there, you click on Number of Friends. Type in the amount of friends you would like to see come up in your feed, maximum being 5,000. And you're very lucky if you have 5,000 friends. Are you aware that your friends are able to see every application that you view? If not, and are unhappy about this sudden news, there is a way to change this. Go to the Applications and Settings page and choose the Only Me setting under the Activity on Applications and Games dashboard. <coughs> are you aware that friend lists have not been removed? I didn't know this, so I looked it up. To view it, click on Friends. On the left sidebar to expand the list. Once you have expanded it, you can view any friend list. There you have it, a quick breakdown of Facebook's latest face list. If you need further information, we will have a link that's provided on our blog, socialbladeshow.com uh, slash show, that also features a tutorial video. What do you think of Facebook's new face? Anyone. You know, I'm personally <laughs> mixed about it. Uh, I've been talking to a lot of folks, and I think in general some people really like the redesign. Some people are like, eh, you know, it's like Facebook keeps changing and, you know, and adjusting the way the interface is. And so it's like next time they update it, they're just going to piss even more people off because, you know, you get used to an interface, and then, you know, four months down the line, they're shifting it up again. Well, so. You know, uh, if it ain't if it ain't broken, don't fix it. That's my opinion. This is all yeah, I. This I is all I, I got to say. This is all I got to say about uh, the new Facebook design. <laughs> <laughs> well, Facebook is not. You know, control over there. Yeah, you know someone know. someone from the SEO team on Facebook got canned the other day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. I I don't. I, I, it, it is what it is. I mean. They're going to change, they change things in digs, people get pissed, they change things in Twitter, people get pissed, they change things on Facebook, people get pissed, does it matter, do they care, nope, they're going to change them, why, because they make money off of it, agreed? Yeah. Some more okay. reason, they did it for a reason. Yeah, it's not, to look, it's not just to look pretty. Or yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. so, how, so how about our guest, we got Red Sadler on the show, let's, uh, let's get him on board. Guys, uh, 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 can you hear me? I've been, I've been, I've been holding back, uh, like, like, um, you know, on, on uh, the drill down. I usually cut everybody off. Well, we appreciate you. Uh, the and, 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 and so it's been hard. Oh my God, you're talking Facebook and Twitter and <laughs> MySpace. Yeah, oh my, <laughs> lions and tigers and bears. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Why, well, Reg? I mean, I mean, no, wait, wait, wait. Now we're gonna segue in here, Reg. Now just hang tight. Um, yeah, who, oh, God, see, I did it. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. We're gonna, we're calm gonna, down. Calm as down. your, as your buddy Andy would say, we're gonna run the gamut here on <laughs> social me. media. Okay. Um, social Blade Digger of the Year, sponsored by Social Blade, brought to you by. Uh, um, what is it again, Aaron? It, it, we didn't change it. For you to be unique. Yeah, there you go. Um, we need you to vote for your favorite dig user. Uh, all you have to do is vote your nomination. Email it to me at genocide312. Genocide312. See how fluent I am with the hey, keyboard? Will there be a poll yeah, on like, our blog? Like, can we just get like a poll daddy widget? and just? Yeah, we'll, oh, we'll, we'll, we're going to do that. What we're going to do is there's going to be... We're, we're going to vote all this week, and then we're going to uh, vote all the following week. We're going to give you updates, and then we're going to have the final five, and then you'll be able to vote on that. Our, our, our band users? Put something up like that on 
Yeah. Pat, are band users oh, wait, eligible wait, wait, wait. for voting? They're voting for me right now. Hold on. I'm sure they are. I, I'm sure a tweet will get that out. And, but, and that's what I wanted to um, ask you about, uh, Reg. If, do you think if you started tomorrow, since you and I are band users not having an account, if you were allowed to start an account tomorrow, do you think that you could get to be, I'm not saying it's going to take forever and a day to get up to the, <coughs> excuse me, over <coughs> over a thousand no, cops. No, 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 there's no way. There is no yeah. way that's possible whatsoever. But what I wanted uh, to know, uh, you think that you could get, that you could work it enough with your Twitter account to get the popularity contest? Because this isn't a well, 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 no, 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 no. I, I mean, um, if you're saying if I decided to sneak back on the dig and uh, and then try and become a uh, a top yeah, a user with over a thousand front page stories, is yeah. is, is that your question? No, I, I'm the most popular digger. There's there's oh, oh yeah yeah yeah. I can do that right now. It's already done. I I already put the word out, and I'll be the most popular digger in your survey. There you go. <laughs> but um. Now, it, something you and I have in common is we're both, uh, both have been banned, um, and Victor wanted to ask you something about that. Um, um, uh, Victor, ask away. Well, uh, you know, I, I do remember <laughs> the day pretty vividly, and, and I was kind of watching it happen in real time. Um, and I remember you, you know, when you were making the case for, you know, basically, you know, asking Diggs and ban you. What was their reasoning? Because, I mean, I, I heard the story before, and it was pretty reasonable, well, well, man. Well, well, well uh, and, and I'll, I'll jump in, and, and I'll jump right into it. Um, what happened? I think it was a, the weekend before. I think it was a Thursday I got banned, or a Friday. And um, uh, I think it was a Thursday, and it might have been a Friday. But uh, I had reached out to Dig support, and, you know, um, it's sort of like Facebook support or, or Twitter support. You, you never hear back. But I, I, I send emails saying, it's like, hey, I'm banned. It's for a stupid reason. Can you guys reinstate me? And usually, you know, well, no. Before that, 100% of the time, they would reinstate me. Now, uh, instead of making a big, you know, social media stink, because, you know, I was the dig shit back then. Sorry, uh, I don't know if I can say that on the show. Okay, I'm uh, 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 But um, instead of uh, raising holy media and social media hell, I'm like, well, let me wait, you know? And I waited the weekend, which was stupid. I should have attacked them, you know, on Friday. And then uh, I just start pummeling them and for like a Monday rollout of my, my full onslaught against them. But instead I waited in to see if they would like, you know, say. Oh, do we lose Reg? Uh, I think we just lost the connection here. If you guys can still hear me. Um, call me back. So, uh, as Reg was raising holy hell, uh, we should be getting a call back momentarily here to continue on. There we are. All right. Sorry Interesting. about that. We got dropped here for some reason. Okay, sorry. Go on. Continue. Yeah, so, so I mean, that's all there is. I got banned for the stupidest reason on the planet. I will, very, I will tell you. Uh, from my lips to your ears. I mean, I'm sure you guys might have read about it, but I was on dig.com, and, you know, just like I do on Twitter, uh, if I find a new user, they befriend me, I'll check out, like, uh, their, their, their information, their, their website. And in this case, um, uh, the user had, like, a profile picture. I thought she was cute, so I posted her picture and said, hey, this is a cute digger. And um, she did a bait and switch. <laughs> I didn't know her site sold used underwear. I swear to God. Oh, shit. I didn't know. Sorry. <laughs> oh. So if she did a bait and switch, she even wrote on, on her site, and she didn't even contacted Dig on my behalf, saying, yes, I did do a bait and switch. You know, don't ban Reg. He didn't know. Um, so, you know, that's documented that she said it's like, you know, um, she did that. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that, that, that's it. That's all. Uh, well, and now, um, let me ask you this. I was, I was, 
I was a member then, and um, my very first account, and I remember digging that, and I was mutuals with you when you did get banned, and it was big, big news. It was shouted across, uh, you know, through Dig when you did get banned. But I was also on the show that you were once on called The Drill Down. Um, many, many, I, probably everyone in here has heard of The Drill Down and still go to it on Sundays. Um, they should anyway. Um, <coughs> when you, you all had, uh, you all had Kevin Rose as a guest. Yes. And I remember this because I was one of the naysayers that were saying, no, that's not Kevin because there wasn't a big hoopla about him coming. And I'm like, that's not Kevin. That's not Kevin. And sure enough, it was. Isn't it true that he offered you to come back on Dig? Uh, no, it is not. He did not offer. Um, uh, if we can pull the transcripts or like like the the voice stuff, no, he did not. He did not um offer me. I, I've never got that offer. The only way that Dig is sort of like rolled out. Hey, wait, hold on a second, Rich. Yeah. Then why the hell are ahead. we trying to get him on here? Why are we trying to get Kevin on the show? Really? If, if I if I, Kevin Rose. I, we're, we've been trying to get him on the show. If, if I can't get my account by having him back on, why are we going to have him on? That's all I want. <laughs> Go ahead, Reg. I'm sorry, bud. Oh, no, 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 no. The whole thing about Kevin Rose is, like, he had only dropped by the drill down w when we were about to bash, like, one of his fuck-ups. Like, you know, like the dig URL, uh, URL shortener yeah, or something else. Then he'd show up. <laughs> He'd show up, you know, in full force, and and I, I can't say any more because still to this day, I mean, um, my 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 fellow diggers, they are doing the the dig job, or are still over there. Um, uh, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff that goes on, and you know, we were the go-to spot for like um, dig um, news and maybe damage control and stuff like that because you know um, there are a few top diggers out there that are still doing a show called the Drill Down. And so you can't really bite off the hand that feeds you uh, too much. You can yeah. talk about them, but you can't really go to town on them. Now, I've been banging, um, but um, I, I still have to protect my buddies, and I can't tell them the full extent of the, 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 the draconian measures that Kevin Rose and Jay Allison did to, to make them behave. Uh, yeah, oh, wait, did I say that? Yeah. Now, now... You left when well. You didn't leave, Dig. You were, you were pushed out the way. You were, we're done with you, Reg. No more Reg on uh, Dig. You turned to Twitter, right? Uh, well, no. I actually first I first turned to Mix dot com. I thought, you know, um, uh, with my influence, I can make Mix the next big thing. And um, it's a great but, place. It is a great place. Yeah, no, it's a wonderful place. But um, uh. uh I, 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 I don't want to say disparaging things about Mix. They just don't think big enough. Well, they're... they're, of they're themselves? Working on... uh, well, not really of themselves, but, you know, as far as, like, you know, um, I'm, I'm getting the word out, uh, out about their product, their website. It's a great site. But then, um, like any good site, you, you need to be able to build buzz outside of a small group of people. Right. And, well, and, they're getting larger, and, and, and I think, and, and I'm not trying to push their buttons here, but what they're they they they're getting better with the uh, the tweet mix and everything else. They they pretty much they're they're growing and they're trying to get better. Um, it's not like they're standing still. So. Oh no no no! I mean, they're more nimble than uh, almost any other social media uh, company of, of their genre out there. Yeah. I mean, uh, Chris McGill and his team have been able to like. Um, um, implement, move forward, and take user recommendations as, as far as breaking news and stuff like that, uh, you know, to a whole new level. Um, I really, really, um, you know, enjoyed my time over there. But, you know, um, uh, when you know all the players and all the people in, uh, in, in, in uh, uh, you know, on the site, it makes it a little too easy to sort of game. So, you know, a bit becoming like the, the, you know, like top mixer every day, you know, that got a little boring. So, um, um, uh, so I moved to Twitter and I, I'm like, well, let me figure out this Twitter thing before I even knew that the full thing, because I used to hate stuff like Twitter, you know, Kevin Rose had pounds and, um, I was on pounds and I had a friend say, Reg, why don't you pounce anything? I'm like, well, what am I supposed to say? Talk about like where I went to lunch at, you know, and, and I see people putting up pictures and music and stuff. That's stupid. <laughs> And I sort of did the same thing with Twitter. I didn't. I didn't understand. 
no. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna get hammered. I'm gonna get hammered. I saw your your tweet. I'm gonna get freaking hammered in in my Gmail account. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, that wasn't me, though. Who, who did that? Ah, uh, this is Zaibatsu, um, unless there's another Wait, one. Wait, I said I'm going to get hammered? When <laughs> no, was no, that? no, 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 no. vote for me as your favorite drink user. It was not for me. Hey, hey, that, that's... Uh, I drink a little less these days. <laughs> Which, by the way, I, I, I wanted to congratulate you, Reg. Uh, you reached 100 and... Or, sorry, 100,000 followers for the second time. No, 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 there's a story behind that. Um, that you haven't been following me. I I, I actually had a hundred and three thousand yes. followers. No, and, then, and, and then and you, you dropped them. We mm-hmm. all knew that. We were going to talk to you about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, because I realized back then, uh, after they rolled out lists, um, it doesn't matter. So it's like um, the influence, you know, um, uh, who you're listed with, and then um, actually the power of your users. That's what matters. So. Um, whether you have a hundred thousand followers or you've got like you know, whatever, um, uh, yeah, I, I dropped all, all the dead weight. I dropped all the spam followers and using so, TwitClean. So or being Twit clean or what? so having yeah. oh, being in almost three thousand lists. That's really the thing to do these days. Yeah, yeah, lists are cool because then that means who who likes you. <laughs> Now, yeah. Now, what about uh, I? I've seen even myself have gotten added to these ones here. I mean, I mean Aaron, Aaron, what do you think? Look, I see your smiling face looking there sideways here, right above me. <laughs> see, look, I can raise the roof. Yeah, I I agree with you. I think Twitter lists, although some people haven't really taken to them as much as other people, but I think that would be more um, accurate to go by if you're going to use Twitter and see, you know, who's popular or not. Not so much the um, the the people who are following you, because again, you can have bots and spammers. But if people are putting you on lists and and giving their descriptions that Twitter has allowed you to do now, um, that that kind of shows you the difference between how many people are actually engaging with you and how many people aren't. I'm live. So I mean, I mean, two thousand people put you on Twitter list. Oh, that's a lot. That's that's probably as many followers okay. as I have. I uh, well, possibly well, keep mine out. <laughs> well, well, I mean, I mean uh, well, yeah, thanks for that. But I mean, really, um, um, uh, the follower count number uh, uh, is sort of meaningless now to me on, on Twitter. Now, 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 for the hundred thousand, yeah, it looks good. So. You know, I want to sustain that. I hate to just tell you guys, so I'm not going to drop like another thirty thousand people tomorrow because then they'll knock that number down. So I need that shallow, <laughs> fake, you know, like like bar. But um, it, uh, uh, truly, it, it's uh, I, I I just uh, oh uh, max unfalls per day. God dang it. Uh, yeah, I used to yeah. drop a, a billion followers. I just saw someone say that Twitter now has a new limit uh, of uh, 200 unfollows per day. Yeah, and apparently the um, the uh, auto unfollow people you can get banned now. Twitter's hacking. Uh, uh, what is it? Cracking down. Hacking down. Oh my. Yeah, but be because I'm, I used down. to use I, I, I used to use a cleaner basically. That yeah, you know, I cleaned out those 45,000 people. So, mm-hmm. um, I, I, and I would actually clean people out that weren't active over like two months' time on Twitter. Well, I got lucky. I added Tom from MySpace on Twitter, and I have had not one problem. But uh, uh, well, 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 Tom, Twitter, Tom is great. Facebook. No, 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 Tom. I mean, if you have Tom as a friend, he brings all over. He has all his MySpace friends. There you go. So, so you've got yeah, that's why I got Lady Gaga, and Rhonda, and then you know Bob. Bob's one of my favorites. Well, all right, Bob. now let, let me ask. I you mean, this. I mean, I mean, have you guys seen MySpace Bob? He's like MySpace Tom, but his name's Bob. No, no, is there really amazing. One yeah, yeah, you just really just type the name Bob and do a search for Bob on MySpace, and add all the Bobs. You'll find him. He's a great guy. <laughs> just add all the Bobs. Yeah, and Bob. There's a weave. Maybe uh, Bob and roll. Okay. Uh, um, sorry about that. It's okay. It's All right. It's um, so, 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 oh, come on, guys. Yeah, hard questions. Beat me up. It's fun. Now, um, no, okay. Uh, 
before we get into that, I wanted to uh, share an actual dream that I had. Um, and this is true. Um, I actually had a dream that involved me, you, and Louis Bauer. And we were standing wow. around a 45-gallon a, a, a uh, gallon barrel of burning. It was burning. There was fire coming out. And we were uh, singing in sync um, Elton John songs. And women would walk by, and you would try and, uh, you know, hit on them. And you were drinking your wine, and it was out of a wine glass. And I was drinking my Coors Light, and Louis was drinking his ether. And we were just kind of hanging out and chilling and singing these Elton John songs. And you were trying to pick up the ladies for us. And none of us got laid, and that's how. What? Well, well, yeah, because they they all came back to uh, probably back to my hotel room. But I'm sorry about that dream. <laughs> well, that's not a problem. <laughs> not a problem. Well played. I have a question for you. We 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 touched on it briefly um, in regards to the drill down. How come we don't get to see you every Sunday night as much? Uh, well, Sunday's bad for me, and I'll be very honest, um, my life's changed a little bit. Um, I'm I'm a single dad now, or at least separated dad. So I have my kids one week on, one week off, and um, Sunday is my transition day. I get them at 6 p.m., or I'm dropping them off at 6. So um, uh, before on Friday nights, I could put them in bed, or they weren't, weren't here. And, um, uh, and you know, it, it, it's, it, it's a good time for me to do, do the show. Uh, during the day, uh, not so much. You know, I've got like a 2-year-old and a 6-year-old. So, um, you know, I've decided not to do the show. Um, you know, pretty much based on those reasons. Well, you're miss, you know that. You know yeah, that. Well, I, I, I appreciate that. that. I mean, I, I, I love the show. I love doing it. And, you know, I actually love getting drunk. You know, I can't really drink around, you know, for, for an afternoon. Yeah, it's that, that is, that, no, it is, it is difficult for me, too. Um, let me ask you. Let's ask you a uh, true or false question. Are you sure. part of the Barry Brigade? Oh, no, 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 and um, uh, for any people that think I still am, yeah, please think that. I think you still um, are? Uh, yeah, yeah, let them think that, because, you know, um, believe it or not, I could care less about Dig, because, uh, um, uh, you know, I can drive more traffic from, uh, not from Twitter, but from my social media post. <laughs> okay, um, I'll take your word for that, but... You said earlier you were talking about your friends that were still on Dig. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mister, I was talking about Mister Baby Man and and M. Salim. That's no no secret. Oh uh, well, yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> they don't need to be on any Burger Brigade. Because right, right, right. But but I mean, as far as anyone else, um, no, I don't reach out to to any special people to do a push on Dig for anything anymore. Um, I'm pretty much all um non Dig pushes. That, that's true um, because a lot of people consider me special and i've never seen you reach out to me so uh, that's true well, well, <laughs> I'll and, you know, that. <laughs> i mean yeah we're, we're, we're all kind of special reg yeah. all good. reg what is your we're favorite tired. social media network my favorite social media network um as far as well i, I mean twitter if, if, if yeah, you mean it, twitter, genre though. yes my, i mean mine is twitter. And, and by, you by, guys by the way that's, know a, it's twitter. that's a point for no, twitter no. by the way aaron no, no, no! I what? did get. I, oh, hold on, Aaron. I, I, I did get onto Facebook uh, oh. because I realized the importance of Facebook, and so I do have four thousand six hundred and seventy followers on Facebook, and um, I, I have a team of people working on my Facebook uh, uh, fan page because oh, I nice. have to have it. Yes, you have to have a fan page. No, 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 but not having the fan page, but I, I, my goal was to, like, hit the 5,000 user mark. Now, uh, for me to hit 5,000, that's, like, the next week or two if I wanted to, but I can't go there. I have to leave those uh, slots open for actual people now. Yeah, true. So, uh, I can see that. So I have to transition to, like, a snappy fan page. But um, Facebook isn't about that. You can't reach your 5,000 followers like you can on Dig or on Twitter. Um, advertising, um, from what I've heard, is key. If you run a little ad on Facebook, then you get all those four million, uh, uh, four hundred million clueless people. Or well, not clueless. <laughs> yeah, true. I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, no, you're, you're right. That 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 buying you're, the you're Farmville right. app or you know Mafia Wars or vampire stuff. I, I mean, um, uh, and they eat that stuff up. And and they pay well, I'm money. sure if Twitter had games, 
I'm sure if Twitter had games, a lot of people would find them. Wait, oh, oh no, no, no I'm games. not disparaging the games. It's like um, <laughs> uh, 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 because I play my my town on on the iPhone. So, uh, so why did you choose my town over Foursquare? Since Foursquare seemed to be getting well, that good initial buzz. Well, well, um, I, I I've chosen them all. I'm doing Gowalla, I'm doing Bright Kite, I'm doing Foursquare, I'm doing, uh, I mean, you name it, I'm doing all of them. Because I think location-based GPS services uh, with, like, tweeting or, uh, you know, like, like the micro-feedback is the next big thing. So I want to dominate all of those, just like I did Dig, Twitter, and now it's called micro-GPS uh, 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 stuff. And I, I'm, I'm pushing that with all my clients, I'm saying it's like, Look, uh, if you're local, not even local, if you're national chain, uh, you better be on board with these apps. Or you create your own app. Like uh, you see Geico um, having glo glove box app. Uh, you've seen Pizza Hut. They've got their own app. Uh, those are just a couple of examples. But, um, yeah, uh, GPS location-based apps where you check in and you get rewards for checking in or being uh, a, a good customer, that's huge. So th that's where I'm at right now. That's my, my next big thing. Nice. Sorry, right. guys. Uh, it looks like the conversation game. Uh, you guys in combo are getting all bored. Am I rambling? No, no, no. no you're no, not no. rambling. It's all good. Uh, I, I agree as well, though. I mean, in terms of, you know, where kind of Twitter-like technology is taking us, it's definitely all centering around things like GPS and locational data and local trending and stuff. Um, so well, what do you think about um, Google Buzz? Have you been playing around much there? You know? uh, well, well, well I, I do like I do with every product like that. I mean, uh, Google Wave came out. I planted my flag there. Didn't yeah. quite get it. So, I don't know if um, I really quite got Wave, to be honest. Uh, uh, so, so I went to Buzz, and then I planted my flag there. And um, right now, Buzz is like friend feed, like like any other social media aggregator. I don't see uh, any way that differenti uh, differentiates it from um, uh, the rest, except that you can make the content a little richer. It's not 104 characters. You can add, like, links. Um, Google is giving you ways to bring in, um, you know, like a, a richer content stream. But nice. that's about it right now. Um, I'm not saying it's being leveraged, uh, but it's a great way for Google to dominate. You flick a switch, you take Google Mail, and say, hey, um, all you social media marketing and lovers out there, Here's Google Buzz, and you've got to eat this. And now, really, you've got to eat the. This is coming with the meal. <laughs> yeah, um, it's interesting. So, 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 so you you guys order the appetizer, your favorite you know meals here, but we're sending this out from the owner. The owner's saying you got to eat this too. No, I agree. I, right. I think Google kind of kind of a genius maneuver. I mean, they build their next big social networking platform right in the Gmail, which already has a you know a grip of users. So yeah, and, and you've got to eat it. Yeah, I mean, no, it's right there. And, mean, and even if you don't know what it is, and you you know, and you're in there, you still got to like, oh, you know, yeah. you see, you know, clueless user. Oh, totally. Um, so here, here's a question from the room by uh, Soge Certs. Um, what, what kind of strategies did he use to find uh, to stay up on the news? Like, what do you use to be kind well, of well, up well, to the minute? Uh, uh, I used to, and I'll be honest. Back in the day, I used to use tons and tons of um, uh, RSS feeds. I'd have RSS feed for every top property out there, and then I'd be waiting for like all the top news. Now, um, believe it or not, you guys will hate me. I've been doing this for so long. I can actually go to like uh, Google and type in, like, say, Twitter as a keyword search. I'll search for the past hour for top Twitter news, and then there you go. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm finding content right there. Oh, crap. <laughs> Is this a live feed on my page? <laughs> hey, um, let me ask you this, Reg. Reg, um, you obviously, do you do, you do social media for a living, correct? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. All right, now, um, have you, you you make money on Twitter, right? That that goes without saying. <clears throat> well, well, yeah, kind of. You know, every now and then. I mean, uh, 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 you can even call me out on one recent obvious one. Um, I, I I did a sponsored tweet for one eight hundred flowers for Valentine's Day. Talk about oh, relevant. Nice. You can't you can't get in yeah. trouble for that, right? Of course, yeah, not. I, I don't know. I, I know grips of people Let that use 2800 flowers. I mean, it's a pretty common service to call around Valentine's Day. Yeah, well, well, see, here's the problem. If you're going to be doing social media marketing <laughs> and get paid for it and do it in an obvious way, um, 
the the nice way to do it is um, if you get relevant content. Yeah, no, you got to capitalize on things like holidays and content that is obviously you know attached to what's right. really going on. Now, 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 I was actually using ta- uh, Twitter as an uh, ultimate dating site last night. So, guys, please don't. Yeah, call me that, on that. that was another one of my <laughs> questions. I'll get to that in just a second. Let's we got to wrap up here soon. Um, let's start going to true or false. And we'll start shooting them out here. Um, did you ever make money while you were as a digger using dig while you were on dig? No. Uh, my, my company did, though. <laughs> okay, you worked for a company back then. Uh, I didn't work for a company. I owned it. All right. Okay, very good. Um, <laughs> now, you've been known. I, 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 I followed you on Twitter. I, we were mutuals. I... I I'm actually one of your friends on Facebook and so on and so forth. Um, let me ask you, how often do you get hit on by the ladies? Because you are known as the ladies' man. You and I have had that discussion before. Um, I, I get hit on pretty much on a daily basis. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I, I actually do recur, uh, return those DMs and, and phone calls. And um, ladies, um, yeah, hit me up. If you think he's hot and you're horny, give him a call. It all works. No, out. not even horny. We 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 can we, we can uh, you know do a walk by you know like the the blah blah blah. Oh, sorry. Uh, I mean by. Like long walks yeah. on the beach. Yeah, look, Joel's right. Uh, Reg is the Twitter player. <laughs> um, Reg, tell us tell us some of the things that you want to talk about. You not talk about. What's your big project in the work right now? What are you trying to do? Uh, my, my big project right now, uh, I, 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 I have so many. I mean, uh, yeah, first I have to take care of a few clients I'm working with. But, um, yeah, I tell everyone, hop on based uh, on the location-based stuff. It doesn't matter the app. If it's Yelp or Gowalla, Loopdit, uh, Brightkite, um, Foursquare, or my, uh, my Town, get on board with that stuff. Love it. All right, well, very good. But, but before we leave, Ergo, you want to uh, – oh, Kevin Ross. No, it's Kevin Rose, right? Is that what you're talking about, Ke- uh, Ergo? Yeah, well, it wasn't my question. It was a question from some in the room here. Yeah. Uh, I can't say that name. Tasumi Nigat. Uh, it's it's Terry asking, Naka, uh, Naka, uh, yeah. Gura. Yeah, he's asking. Uh, it, it, it's it's her. I, I I know her. It, God, okay. ladies, are you stalking me? <laughs> so she's asking if you become popular on Dig, uh, does Kevin Rose say uh, that he's going to ban you? Uh, she wants to know. Of course he will. <laughs> well, no, Kevin Rose won't, but it'll be uh, Jen Burton that will. Yeah, is it Jen? Jen Burton, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, is, it's, is Jan the dig bitch? Yeah, she's the band hammer. Oh, band well, God, I didn't know that. I'm, I'm going to do a whole... I know. I'm named after her. I, Reg, I'm named after her. Genocide 312 is named after Jen Burton. Genocide, spelled with a G, is the uh, obliteration or destruction of a, a culture or creed or race or religion genocide 312 is the uh, destruction of a um, power user oh so well yeah, yeah you know, there, there have been, been a few of those yeah there, well, there, yeah, there have that's, that's, I'm number 312 I'm one of the few that did well on dig but um anything else anybody because I, I know that I, I have a ton of questions for uh Reg and I know a lot of other people do, but at some point we gotta uh, we gotta end it. Yeah, hey, 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 Aaron, are you married? Do you have a boyfriend? No comment. Oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> We're still alive. I I, I yeah. don't want to say that Ergo is her man. Oh uh, oh oh, hey, er- er- Ergo. Um, uh, you see the problem with you is like uh, I I can't bypass this because you you'll. He'll tap my phone, <laughs> and, 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 and then, then you've heard you've heard of that t- you've heard of that term called swatting. 
Oh, you were talking about what that, I, I think. On, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And, yeah. And, 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 and you call a SWAT team on someone. Er, ergo, I, I'm, uh, Aaron, uh, uh, really, you're a wonderful woman. Uh, you guys are wonderful people. Um, uh, uh, please do not send <laughs> over the SWAT team to my house. <laughs> hey, 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 Reg, 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 she's got a twin sister. Hey, uh -oh. hey Ryan, 04. You look in Call the eye, uh, she's in there. Oh, okay. Twin sister, <laughs> that's more refreshing than juicy fruit gum. Or no, it's double, double mint. Double what? mint. <laughs> double mint, okay. Oh, all right, all right. I'm sorry, I keep getting... I need my Berkeley. Uh, Red, Buckley. have you ever done... Have you, what, Buckley? Have you ever had Buckley to make you feel better from a cold? Um, I, I don't know what Buckley is. Me neither. Uh, it's really apparently... You guys have uh, never Aaron, heard of Aaron, yeah, Aaron is the Canadian uh, mirror of Linda, Miss Linda. Miss Linda wants you to take the powder. She wants you to take the Buckley. But, okay, what I am going to put out there is Buckley's isn't a natural medicine. It's just medicine like DayQuil or NyQuil, except it's a lot stronger and will take care of your cough in a matter of moments. <laughs> Yeah, that one. But anyway, uh, um, yeah. I should be sponsored by Buffett, actually. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, look. Oh, here's someone who knows about it besides you and Aaron. It's Joshua Denny, but again. A Canadian. Canadian. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Uh, uh, and Greg. Gregors. Yep. Yeah. No, uh, Canadian. Hey, 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 uh, uh, okay, I, I, I think I might have, actually. It does yeah. taste awful, but it works. It really does. Anyway. Moving on. <laughs> Brad, it's been wonderful having you as a guest. Well, thanks for long. having me on board, guys. Absolutely. Yeah. Can, hey, Reg, can you hang on? Because we're just going to uh, shoot the breeze here for a few minutes with everyone and uh, see if we can get a few people to come on and, and, and chat with you. Uh, well, you know, we'll hang out a little bit and do a call if you're interested. Yeah, well, yeah sounds good. Uh, uh, sounds good. Do you have to be on video? No, well, hang on. Yeah, we need to. We need. We want to just wrap up here. So, uh, <laughs> I, I, <coughs> wow, both you Buckley. and Brett are just dying. <laughs> Joshua Denny, my biggest fan. Hey, Joshua. No, you can't see my ass. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we wanted uh, to thank everyone for joining the show uh, and remind you to uh, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. All those three names with a uh, slash social blade at the end there I want to thank both and of our just yeah. just a reminder wait well, hold on, before Pat, you hold get on. going Ergo. okay go ahead we'll, we'll get to it i uh, want to also thank both of our guests this week uh red sadler aka zaibatsu and the mighty thor uh thank everyone in the, i want to thank everyone in the audience here you guys come and support us every week and we really do appreciate it uh, thank you, Hot Hardware, who is our uh, gracious sponsor every single <laughs> week, hothardware.com. And uh, don't forget to vote in Pat's uh, the, uh, the contest he was talking about earlier, the Social Blade Digger. Uh, Aaron, what's the contest called? Or Pat, what's it called? It, it's called um, the Zabatsu Contest. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> pretty much why we're going to end up turning it. Social Blade, Social Blade Digger, Digger, Digger of the Year. Digger. And how do you and, vote? Um, how do you vote here? You I've, send I've an already email. started getting votes before the show tonight, and um, it's kind of interesting. Uh, it's not really a lot of surprises as of yet, but uh, I tell you what, you now's the time to get those votes in and get your choice in there as a uh, potential finalist. No, 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 no. Uh, is there a prize? Do, 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 do I get like a... Uh, uh, yeah, uh, you'll win uh, a social blade. Uh, a couple of two ter terabyte hard drives. <laughs> yeah, Aaron, you want to explain the prize? It's a social blade skate. Well, it's going to be just one of our our drawn awards, one of a kind social blade awards. Um, but you'll also be featured on the social blade blog, and you'll have the opportunity to be our guest. So, so get your votes in, and we'll tell you the top five votes that you've chosen on March the 4th. Yeah, and remember, email those votes to J-E-N-O-C-I-D-E 312 at gmail.com. Again, thank you everyone for joining, and remember, Thursdays, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific, or watch all the recaps at socialblade.com slash show. 
We are Social Blade.